So let me give you an example. Enum constants. If enum constants were just, let's say we didn't have it structured this way, but everything was a decimal, okay? Well, if everything was a decimal, like in GCC, these guys need to know about um, their storage class. Well, you don't need that information for the new constant, right? So it turns out that the new constants, there's 20,000 of them. You want them to be really cheap. And it turns out that on average, there are, um, each of these um, you pay a slightly different cost for, but the average is 30 bytes. So if you look at carbon.h, uh, it's about 30 bytes per AST uh, for decades. So here's the type hierarchy. All type is a smart pointer type that points to the actual type. Okay, all type, um, if you're programming C, you can imagine is const um, restrict volatile and it is encoded in the low order three bits, and the rest of the word uh, points to a type, right? So it's a smart pointer, it saves space, and it's still a nice API. Um, type has these uh, classes, which again model the, uh, the type system in C. Types are unique, I should mention, just like GCC, um, unique types. Um, we also store the canonical type. So every type, you could ask it for its canonical type, and that just removes all the type defs. So normally, a type contains all the type defs. And the type checker, which I was just working on, always has to make sure it's operating on a canonical type, which is the actual type. And uh, we have uh, function protos. And so that's it for types. This is how many we have. We have 13,000 um, function prototypes there. And this is, this is all flat. I just grouped these classes based on their logical grouping, right? Uh, but this is a flat hierarchy. Uh, again, just to save space, very boring. And expressions are also very boring. Expressions inherit from statement right now. And it's been working well for us. And um, so anyway, that's, that's what I have for syntax trees. And I'm just going to close with two guiding thoughts. Our fearless leader, Steve Jobs, loves this quote. If you've read anything about Steve Jobs, you probably know he loves this quote. Um, so I'm not listing it for that reason. I'm listing it because a lot of this work that we're doing is hardcore engineering, OK? It's not research, OK? It's not interesting at all from a research perspective. But it is interesting um, because I think it's going to enable a much broader class of tools. And I think it's all about uh, stealing the best ideas we've taken from GCC, we've taken from the old dev kit, we've taken, Chris and I have taken from wherever we can, okay? And uh, we think right now it's holding together and we hope it gets even cleaner. And this this last um, thought by Sam Harbison, who actually wrote a great book on C um, with Guy Steele, which is the book I've been coding to. I, I use two things to code, the, we're using two things to code the front end, the C standard, as you can imagine, and Harvison and Steele, which again is a really great book. This is, a, I, I think, a really profound little group of sentences. Uh, and I think it really explains. Chris, did I have to read this? You said you wanted me to read it. <laughs> you can just leave it up there. Okay. <laughs> the, the font's big. You can, you can read it, right? Yeah. Um, okay. Well, anyway, questions? Do you um, support the um, broader funky? Actually, the syntax that JCC has given us so generously. Well, well, as my slides, we'll have to. At this moment, I don't think we do, but we will. Oh yeah, that means you have to understand it. It doesn't seem that the documentation on GCC, in GCC understands. It. Well, we're fortunate. We have the, We have in this room, in fact, some of the best GCC experts on the planet. We could walk down to their office and say, if you can answer this, great. If not, please get us the answer to this. <laughs> or show us where to look, you know, right? So, yeah. Yeah. Yes. so Picasso had another saying that happens to be my favorite, which is, it takes a very, very long time to become young. <laughs> OK. <laughs> yes. You mentioned that you were going to write a C++ front end. <laughs> well, <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> 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 okay, I just want to say I am. I told Chris I don't feel I'm capable unless he wants to wait 10 years. Um, <laughs> there's, there's, there's a distinct lack of decent C++ front ends out there. We know. 
We know. Well, in fact, I think it's it's funny that for as I think when Java hit the streets, it deflected a lot of energy and enthusiasm for doing great tools for C. Okay. Well, two things happened. GCC became so popular and overwhelmed a lot of the tools vendors, and people like Metroworks went out of business. And and, 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 and Java became so popular. And people who write tools said, I'd much rather write tools for Java. I don't have a free processor, right? Um, <laughs> so, um, you know, I, I recognize C++ is, is, is tough. And we're just going to have to, um, Chris and I and the company will have to figure out what we do. We want to do C and Objective-C well. And then we'll take that step. Uh, yeah, so. we, Does you have anything to we, add on that? Yeah, I mean, we, we know and love C++. We obviously use it a lot. Uh, but And there's a lot of value in having a better C++ front end, both in terms of diagnostics, compile time, a lot of other things. But it's just a big project. Yeah, um, and I, I would be delighted to have a good C++ front end right. in the open source community. But there, 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 are, there are reasons why there isn't one. Right. Back, back when I was managing, I talked to EDG and tried to get them interested in open source and different things, and they are not interested in open source and not interested in adding Objective-C. And so we tried to go down that path, but it doesn't work. Um, what's, uh, what's your license model? The same license as LLVM. The exact same stuff. Sweet. So we, we aren't planning on releasing it immediately. So we want to be a little bit further along before we release it, but probably in the next few months or something. Or transport every single VCC station? <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. No. No. There's no way to be totally frank about it. Patch is accepted. Don't you have to know? What? Patch is accepted. Yeah. Three. It'll. It'll probably. We'll try and push a lot of our system through it and do that set of things, and and we'll see. But we have to do it right because we throughout our Xcode everything we use. Extension. But he said every GCC extension. Okay. Like oh, I don't believe that. Yeah, no, no. no, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, 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 we want this. So, so we. Really well, anyway, this is this is certainly up for discussion. Um, so seems like attribute mode doesn't seem to make any sense supporting anything else well, other than GCC, right? So a lot of attribute would probably can be just carry over transparently by trying to. Actually, the attributes are, one, in my opinion, are one of the good things about GCC. I mean, attributes yeah. are a very clean way to add so metadata to the, to the code. Yeah, but uh, okay. Yeah, the yeah, actual, the actual yeah. a attributes themselves maybe have yeah. Yeah. questionable we value. Use, but if large set of attributes, you have your own code, so we have to talk about it. It depends. Not every attribute has to be understood by printing, right? This is the detail we can take it off. Yeah, I'm really not that concerned about actually. Yeah, that's the thing you refuse to implement. Yeah, for the front end does make out. Yeah, yeah. So I mean, the short version is we'll implement some subset of stuff, and then if people want to extend it, then that's that's great. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, two things. Is this going to be a sub-project of LLVM or whatever it becomes? Or yeah, something? I think. I mean, Chris is that's Chris's okay. question. Okay. So, then there seems to be a, a fair amount of overlap this. between HL, or at least pieces of this and, and pieces of HLVM. Um, it sounds like we need to have a discussion so that we don't duplicate sure. work. And I mean, I'm all for discussing it. We can include Chris in and decide what we want to do. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, 